The Commission on Presidential Debates is making news once again today, announcing that the moderator for the next presidential debate, or the next scheduled one, C-SPAN's Steve Cully, Scully, his Twitter account was hacked. So tonight we're looking into who the Commission of Presidential Debates is and what their role is in our democracy. The venue, the date, and yes, even the questions. Would raising taxes put the recovery at risk, and you have two minutes to answer. We're all organized by one entity in every single presidential debate since 1987. The Commission on Presidential Debates, which is a nonpartisan 501c3 organization, raises the bulk of its funds through private donors, which have never been disclosed. The Presidential Debate Commission is led by three co-chairs. Frank Farenkoff, former chairman of the Republican National Committee, former League of Voters President Dorothy Ridings, and former Democratic Institute President Kenneth Womack. The Presidential Debate Commission has unfettered powers to decide when, how, and where the debates will happen and who moderates them. Just yesterday, deciding that President Trump's recent COVID-19 diagnosis is reason enough to suggest a virtual debate. Well, we, we haven't officially canceled it yet, but as you know, today when the president rejected doing the, uh, the debate next week, uh, the, the uh, Biden campaign immediately uh, said that they were going to withdraw from it and they've arranged at another network uh, a town hall meeting. We haven't heard back yet from, from, the, uh, from the Trump campaign as to exactly what they're going to do. The personal views of board members historically have always been a point of contention. And even though the debate commission calls the debate, the candidates have every right to choose not to participate. Third party candidates have for decades complained about Democrats and Republicans controlling the entire debate without independents being represented on their commission. As for debates, the second presidential debate, it's still up in the air in doubt after both Biden and President Trump's team are considering holding other events next Thursday. The third and final presidential debate is still scheduled for October the 22nd in Nashville, Tennessee.